Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you all the goodies I bought from Sweden for family and friends. So let's get started. I bought quite a lot. So let's see what I got. First thing, I bought this large t-shirt from Uniqlo for my brother and his girlfriend who, you know, just wear the same stuff, you know, just how I wear with you like. So yeah, super cute from Uniqlo. And I love going to Uniqlo because I live in Colorado and Colorado actually doesn't have that store anymore. We used to have one in Denver, but they closed down. I don't know why, like it was so popular. So that was really sad. So I was really happy to find one in Sweden, in Stockholm. This was at a tea central, I would say. Okay, next one is for my dad. I got him this really cool um, clock. It's an owl clock. He has to build. He loves building little things. He did. Um, he has a bunch of these that he's done like a ship, and I think I got him a ship before an airplane. And then he also has Lego sets. Like he built a forty-two thousand piece Lego of the destroyer from Star Wars. So I think he would really enjoy this. I got this at the Paradox Museum in T Central again. It's a popular shopping area and. Paradox Museum is, I'll have a clip right here, but it's where, it's like an illusion museum, right? Like one side of the room, one person looks bigger than the other, you might see the reflection that goes like forever, or mirrors where you don't know which way is out. That's what that is. So I think you'll really much enjoy this one. It was my favorite. I bought some, of course, coffee for me. I already started drinking it this morning because I couldn't wait. I have no coffee at the house. <laughs> so I bought some coffee. This is actually from Gamlestan and that's a old town. Um, it's super old. It has like cobblestones on the bottom. It's very narrow streets. And so we were at this place drinking coffee like for a second time with the family. And so I bought this bag of coffee. The price is, I think this was $70. The coffee, this was $15, so kind of like very American prices, I would say. Okay, next thing for my dad, I also got her this Stockholm hat, but also my mom can wear it too. They could share. Um, so yeah, Stockholm, I got this also at Gamma's done. Super cute. Okay, what else did I get? Okay. So, oh, for my mom, I got her some kitchen towels, and these are like Swedish, I felt like they were Swedish designs. Uh, they were 225 crown, so I think it's like maybe $20, I'm not sure. But yeah, so these towels, I got them actually at a museum, I think it was Nordic Life exhibit that I went to, and I saw these at the museum, so... Had to grab her those. They're 100% linen, so I hope she uses tea towels. Pretty nice. Then I got my dad a jersey. I went to Iceland a long time ago with my brother, and the one thing he asked for is a jersey, Iceland jersey. So I thought I'd get him one from Sweden. Um, and this one is number 10. I think Eli said it's a good player, so that's good. So yeah, I got him a Swedish t-shirt and soccer is so huge there um it was playing on every tv and so it's kind of cool it's kind of like america's sport okay next thing i got this cute nugget for my parents stockholm so cute i got a couple magnets so let me show you i got some funny ones i got this magnet for so i think this one i might give to my friend and then this one, or maybe I have two for myself. I think this one I'll have my mom. I don't know, I'll let her pick which one she wants. And then I have, let me see, there's a couple more magnets. We'll get to it later. For my brother, I got a really cool shot glass. So uh, Sweden is known for biking. So there's a biking museum, there's a Boston museum, just biking like everywhere. <laughs> and so I got a really cool biking shot glass. That looks kind of cool. And this was 125 kroner, kroner, Swedish krones. Okay, this is my magnet for myself. I've been collecting magnets for quite some time now. So pretty nice. You know, I'm so sad. I didn't get any keychains. And it's so sad because um, I just didn't see any good ones. Yeah. 
And then for my roommate's jazz, I got her some candy. So uh, she loves candy. So I got her some of these Swedish snacks. So candy. I got her some of these. They're like chocolate waffles. They're probably melted inside. No lie, but they look fine. I got her some gum. This is like Swedish. Do they eat a lot of gum there? Like, and I guess I asked the bride, the groom and the bride, and they say they switch out their gum every 30 minutes. So they just keep chewing. I always see them with gum, even on their wedding day. It was kind of funny. So, yeah, so some gum. And then I got her these. These were my favorite. They're sour candy, Swedish candy, candy people. <laughs> yeah, Smart original. I really like these. I should have got some more for myself, but. And another one. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I didn't try this one yet. And then I got another funny magnet. This one's for my brother. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Very Swedish. I think he likes it. He will like it. And then I got my mom a t shirt as well. So this t shirt. God bless time, which is Old Town. So. Very nice, I like the color and I love the design, really nice. And then we're coming towards the end and then I got these three bags. So I got, actually I think I have four bags, and then I got a black one. So I got this bag, I think I'm going to give one to Michaela, my friend Michaela, and then one for my mom. This one you guys saw me walking in, it's really cute. I'm thinking to put like yarn in there, well this might be for my mom but I'll let her pick. And then there's this one that's, um, you know, different. You know, I think I had another bag, but I think I re left it in Stockholm because I had a same one, but black for Michaela. Because I think I was gonna give one to Allie as well. But I'll have to look at my house and see if it's there. But anyway guys, that's all I got for everybody. It was so much fun at the it was so much fun being in Sweden for two weeks and I'll upload that vlog very soon because we went to a Swedish wedding and then Ethiopian wedding and we explored the city which is really fun. So stay tuned for the vlog and I'll see you guys next time.